Welcome back to Houston Life. Even if you didn't listen to rap music growing up, I know you watched Wildin' Out with Nick Cannon. He has a long history as one of the best talent scouts and curators in the entertainment industry. And today, he will be at the House of Blues in Houston to showcase a new crop of future superstars. Let's welcome TV host, actor, rapper, comedian. Yes. The list goes on and on. Nick Cannon, I'm ladies here. and gentlemen. I'm still in shock about <laughs> you guys' Oreo challenge over there. That was that was impressive. I you know, highly recommend On live TV and you guys handled that amazing. It was a mess. <laughs> the vinegar was the worst. That's how I was like, ooh. ooh. And then the barbecue, hey. It was spicy barbecue. I've done some too. crazy things on live television. Yeah. Uh, but not yes, that we know. Was, we know, Nick. <laughs> that was, I was impressed. I was intrigued. I, was, <laughs> I wanted to see what was going to happen next. Well, if you have time, you're welcome to play along <laughs> no, with us. No, I'm Warriors. good. <laughs> so, Nick, uh, your resume is so impressive. You've been in show business for such a long time. It's been a minute. And essentially, this tour that has brought you here to the House of Blues, yeah. you are trying to use, you're essentially like a mentor for, for the future superstars, That's right? really what it is. I mean, I created this brand just based off of the, the idea of edutainment. I mean, uh, and really to pay it forward to the next generation of superstars uh, to offer up, as you said, mentorship, but more even just the idea of what what it takes to to make it in any industry. I mean, we talk about superstar energy. You could be uh, a, a superstar personality, anchor, cameraman, whatever, uh, but it's about showing the next generation all of the things you have to embody, uh, believing in yourself, and then the inspiration process of that as well. I want to ask you this. It says yeah. you graduated from Howard University, yeah. and you're going to pursue your master's degree. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I've been pursuing the master's. Okay. I got my degree in 20. 2020, uh, 2016 and to 2020, I was going to Howard in D.C. every single week, taking all of my classes in the midst of everything. In else. the middle of your crazy life. Yeah, but uh, and it was probably one of the greatest experiences of my life. So I just wanted to continue to keep that going. So it's a couple of things. Really, the goal of, uh, of the process is the Ph.D. in uh, divinity. So that that's a that's a something. I come from a long line of, of ministers and church folks so that that's the ongoing thing and then at the same time I have this new this this new love for the space of child psychology so <laughs> wow. so I've been studying a lot of that as of lately always yeah. learning always yeah. evolving forever a student forever a student yeah. Yeah. we love that yeah. let's talk a little bit more about the tour because what's great about mm -hmm. this not only are you bringing this tour to Houston to showcase some pretty incredible talent yeah. but you have taken this tour and turned it into a TV show so yeah. essentially for 10 episodes yeah. on BET yeah. viewers will get a chance to get to know these contestants yeah. in a deeper way and that's the thing Thing too because I, I want even for the clarity it's almost like imagine because it, it's not a competition so, show so but imagine if you got the opportunity to see you know Destiny's Child and Beyonce on their first tour you know uh, if you had the opportunity to see Justin Bieber you know from the day he started from his YouTube days and following that journey so to actually walk into the future and give these people from the day one of their first tour ever but you know, being the curators and hopefully the conduits to see them rise to that next level, you can say, I knew them when. I became a fan when. So it's allowing, the this, this television show is allowing all the fans to kind of have that entry point of their origin story. And hopefully these young people are those next individuals that we get to see become superstars. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that's a, that, so it's not really like a, because I always, I don't want people to think like, oh, it's a reality show. It's more like a documentary and each episode kind of lives on its own. It is super cool. I can remember specific artists seeing them in small venues, yeah. like coffee shops, and now Drake, they're selling out stadiums. I saw Drake stadiums. in the smallest little theater in Houston. See? I was a fan back in the day. There, there it go. is. And that, that we're trying to give that experience, because you'll never forget that. So it's never. the experience for the fan, as well as for these artists that are on the verge and making a lot of noise. Let's talk about the lineup yeah. uh, for the tour. Pretty who, do you, cool. who do you have? Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, we got uh, a gentleman that Dr. Dre calls his new favorite artist is uh, Simba, and he's been uh, he's been doing his thing as uh, in the hip hop space, uh, really heavy. Then we also have J.D. McQuarrie, who was one of the stars of the Lion King film. He was actually the voice of Simba. It's funny kind of how we got <laughs> Simba and Simba <laughs> with us. Uh, and then we have someone who's a Houston native uh, by the name of Jilly, uh, and she. 
is actually, she started, she's an a empire in her own. I mean, uh, from the spaces of like uh, social media and, and a creator. She has millions of fans. She has her own cookbooks, but now, you know, she's getting an opportunity to show everybody her true love and passion as a music artist. And she's right, right here from Houston. We love that. There's yeah. a lot of local talent here. Yeah, yeah. And I want to ask you too, you come to Houston often. What is the best thing that, that you enjoy? About Houston. Oh, I mean, of course, the food. You know, yes. uh, the the food is, is always amazing. But the people. I mean, it's that it's that that big love. It's the the right. southern hospitality that you get here. Just everybody treats me like I'm from here. So it's it's a good vibe. But the, so the people and the food. That's where I would rock. Well, you're good people, so you can oh, say you're a Houstonian you. too. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll Very take good it. answer. Let's say there's someone out there because again, we have so much talent here in mm -hmm. Houston, and maybe yeah. there's a young person out there or and any age, I should say, yeah. watching and saying, hey, there's there's a part of me, there's a passion, a talent I want to tap into and focus on. What would your advice be to someone? And I think that's even, you know, we talk about that at the seminars before the show begins, because, you know, a lot of people do meet and greets, but we wanted to actually give that opportunity to give advice. Uh, but it's all in the name, you know, for us, like it, embodying that superstar within you. Instead of uh, going and looking for the opportunity, perfect your craft, and that opportunity will come looking for you. That's usually, it's, it's really, you no. Know, and like I said, no matter what field you can be, you could be a superstar in any, any industry. So uh, I would just say, just build yourself up for when that, that, that preparation opportunity come together, that's alignment. And speaking of future superstar, yes. Monroe, your daughter. Oh, she's turning up, she's right? She's a star. <laughs> she, she has one of these hoodies as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, all my kids, man, they, they, they honestly, I, they, they get bit by the entertainment bug because they're around it so much. But my oldest daughter is definitely, she's, she's singing, she's dancing, she's on social media. So as a father, I'm just trying to monitor it and, and make sure I as keep- As best you can. Yeah, yeah but she, she's loving it. Wasn't there a video that just went viral of Roe dancing with Northwest? Yes. Yeah, Kardashian's yeah, yeah. Daughter as well. So what was your reaction when you saw that? Or did I, you know it? it I happened? mean, I, I saw it at the same time everyone else saw it. But I mean, I loved it. The fact that you can even just see her interacting with her friends and, you know, their moms together. It, it was fun. So I called it epic. It's amazing. It is epic. Well, yeah. Nick Cannon, thank you so much for stopping by Houston Life. No problem. Thank we you love you. Me. Come back anytime. Hey, as long as you Next don't make me do the Oreo, Oreo challenge. Next I'm good. I'll come. Saving you a whole pack of those Oreos <laughs> and the barbecue sauce. Yeah. Hey, by the way, a reminder that the Future Superstar Tour 2023, hosted by the one and only Nick Cannon, is happening today at House of Blues Houston starting at 5.30 p.m. The good news, people, you can still get tickets for today's show. We have a link where you can buy them. Just look for that scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. Nick, thanks once again. Thank you for having me. It's been fun. <laughs>